Hello, hello, welcome back to another anime art video. My name is Dennis and I'm a beginner artist and in today's video I'm going to be drawing Sharpener. I decided to draw Sharpener just, you know, just because um, I didn't want to draw somebody like somebody new that I can draw within like the next two episodes. So uh, like the Bora who showed up at the end of this episode and then like, um, what's his name? Uh, Bibbity. Yeah, I could have drawn, uh, I mean, Bobbity. Yeah, Bobbity. His name is Bobbity. Uh, I could have drawn either one of those two. I actually could have drawn both of them, but I decided against it considering it like, you know, they didn't show both of those characters until, like, later, later. Um, okay, I got... Okay, this is a debate that's going on on t uh, going around on TikTok. And it's, like, actually, like, super-duper annoying, all right? Um, one, all right. So, basically, people now are wanting to compare Goku or, uh, what is it, um... Uh, Zeno Goku versus Rimuru or Rimuru versus Zeno Goku, right? Okay. I could understand that you're like, okay, let's just take the strongest form of Goku. The strongest form of Goku that's not canon. It's canon to Dragon Ball Heroes, not canon to Dragon Ball uh, Super. And if you wanted to make that canon, then we'd be following that story instead of uh the story that we're following right okay but regardless even if you want to compare that zeno goku it's fine we can compare that we can compare rimuru to that zeno goku i i'm a big advocate for goku being the strongest but i'm not oblivious to the fact that i know there are individuals that can kill him okay and I can tell you two right off the bat. Rimuru's one, and Anos Voligod is another. Why do I say this? Um, people want to bring up the fact that uh, Zeno Goku was able to fight a guy that wanted to destroy a bunch of universes' timelines, right? All this different crap. Cool. He can destroy a bunch of stuff. Rimuru cannot be erased no matter what. He can't be erased from existence. He can't be destroyed out of existence. He can't be erased out of the timeline. It doesn't work. Rimuru cannot die at the point where he is in the manga. Okay? It just can't happen. So if you want to say that the fight with Zeno Goku would go on indefinitely, I prefer you say that. That'd be a way better argument than to just say that Rimuru would lose. And then there was this other dude who said that, yeah, Rimuru is the strongest in his universe, but blah, 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 blah. He'd only scale up to Dragon Ball uh, Super Goku. What? What are you talking about? If Rimuru can't be erased from any timeline, any universe, his power scales over universes. You can't just be like, oh, well, if he was in Dragon Ball's universe, it'd be a different story. Or if he was in this universe, it'd be a different story. Because the whole battle is a hypothetical. When you set up hypotheticals, you're putting both people in a situation where they'd be at their strongest. You're not going to nerf one or the other to fit your argument. So in order for Rimuru to fight at his strongest, whatever the circumstances would be, you would have him be at his strongest as he is in his show. We're not going to scale him up or down, right? Same with Zeno Goku. We're not going to scale him up or down. We're going to put him where he is as far as we see it. So the strongest we've seen him and the strongest we've seen Rimuru, Rimuru's not losing that fight. Rimuru can't be killed. If you want to say the fight goes on forever, that's cool. That's fine. I'll agree with that. 
fight goes on indefinitely. But don't say that Rimuru would lose. And especially when the people that are arguing that fact has only seen Dragon Ball Heroes. So they only know about Zeno Goku. And then when you tell them that Rimuru in manga beats Goku, they're like, nope, I just don't believe it. They don't, they're not going to go in there and they're not going to fact check anything. They're not even going to go so far as to look up on Wikipedia Rimuru's abilities. They're not going to do any of that. They're just going to be like, nah, I don't think he is. <laughs> you, have nothing to, you have nothing to base your argument off if you're sole argument is off of one character that you know versus another character if you want to compare anime rimuru against anime um uh zeno uh zeno goku that's fine that zeno goku beats anime rimuru but manga rimuru which is a continuation of a story that one in story rimuru I think either ties or beats outright Zeno Goku. It's the same thing with the Anos argument. Anos quote unquote can't die, but Anos we've seen Anos die and he got reincarnated. So put Rimuru in the situation where he kills Anos and then what happens? Rimuru absorbs Anos and then what happens? Rimuru has Anos's abilities. So once Anos comes back, the fight then is cake for Rimuru because Rimuru can actually erase him at that point because he has abilities that allow him to do so now. Previously, the fight would go indefinitely, but the person that doesn't, the person that's at the disadvantage is Anos because we've seen Anos die. We've seen Rimuru get erased and come back. So. It's the same with Anos, but Anos doesn't have anything that allows him to take his opponent's strength. He can't just take Rimuru's abilities after he erases him. But Rimuru can. If Rimuru beats Anos once, he can beat him every time because he'll just take his strength and all of uh, Anos' abilities are now his. Like the fact that that sword that he's allowed to use, right? If Rimuru kills Anos once... That sword Rimuru can use now. Which, that sword can actually erase him from existence. It can erase Anos from existence. But it can't erase Rimuru. Because Rimuru can't be erased. So, when we, like, when we argue things. Argue things with... Go, go into the argument knowing both, both characters equally. Don't just know enough about one character to make the general argument like, oh, this character would never lose because that's dumb. If you can't argue on the account of both characters, don't have the argument at all. Say to the other person, oh, I don't know enough about this character, so I can't say much. But if you're willing to like publicly speak out about a character without knowing anything about the character other than the fact that, oh, I've watched the anime and I didn't see anything like crazy. That'd be like saying Jin Mori, like, yeah, Jin Mori, we saw him in the uh in his anime. He didn't seem that strong. He's a god. He's literally a god. <laughs> his manga adaptation is far stronger than the one we've seen in the anime. So when people just say a person in the anime compares to this other person in an anime. We know Dragon Ball universe is like far stronger than every other universe. But when you compare the universes, right? Like if I were to compare a Goku right now, I'd want to compare the Goku in manga because the one in manga is at least a thousand times stronger than the one that showed up in the anime. Like even more than that, probably even more than a thousand. But people that only seen the anime if they want to only argue the anime say that don't say this extra crap like oh well i don't think so because i didn't read it but i don't think it, it's possible because i know that this character can do a b and c if you don't know enough about the other character for, to even be able to understand why people were advocating for a character then don't say anything about it just keep your opinion to yourself 
But me personally, I know that Rimuru cannot be destroyed from any existence, any timeline. He cannot be destroyed. So if you were to put him up against somebody like Flash and somebody was to be like, oh, well, Flash could just run back in time and erase him from uh, the timeline. No, you can't. <laughs> so throw that argument out the way. And if somebody were to be like, well, technically, if you do go back in time, then Rimuru technically wouldn't be as strong as he was when you went. If you can't erase Rimuru from the timeline, then if you go back and destroy a Rimuru when he was weaker, the stronger one would still be in the existing timeline. Destroying an old Rimuru is not a, a younger Rimuru is not going to make the older Rimuru just disappear. It's not going to work. So you get rid of your problem in the past. But the future one is still there. So, yeah. And Rimuru has time manipulation as well. So, and universal. Like, he can trap you in an, your, in a, in, he can trap you in a, in a, um, in a cage or a bubble that you can't escape from. And then trap that bubble on another universe that you can't escape from. I mean, another dimension that you can't escape from, not a universe, another dimension, sorry. So he can put you in a trap inside of a trap. And unless you have like the ability to tr like transport dimensions, you can't escape it. And that naturally will put like m like a lot of people out of commission. I'm not saying it puts like the high tier people out of commission, but that's enough to put him like in the high talks when we're talking about power scaling amongst characters and shows and then like some uh dummy in the comments was like oh even naruto solos Rimuru. i'm like what what are you talking about you're just like you're showing your bias by just even commenting something stupid like that just shut up just shut up even Rimuru in uh current anime i'm pretty sure beats um uh, uh anime naruto i'm pretty sure that i'm like fine in saying that he got into his demon lord status no never mind well that's complicated because rimaru evolves like okay so rimaru goes from being uh a regular slime he goes to being a demon uh what is it a demon slime um then a demon lord true demon true demon lord slime and then goes to be in an ultimate slime ultimate slime is his like final form i forget actually what's it what's uh there the two forms that he goes before he becomes an ultimate demon lord i don't remember what the what it was or if the only two that he has is when he's a demon lord slime and then an ultimate demon it's whatever uh but yeah sorry for the the rant and the rambling um let's get into this
Alright, I am finished with this picture of Sharpner. Um, I do want to say that this picture was quite easy and I uh, almost directly uh, did it strictly because it was going to be easy. I don't want to say definitively that that was the decision, but the last three days I've ended up, well, the last two days I ended up like waking up like extremely late. And ironically enough, today, well, yeah, today I didn't go to sleep. Um, this is morning that I'm talking right now. It's four, not morning, but, you know, it's 4.14. So, p.m. Um, earlier today, when I woke up this morning, I went to sleep at like three something right? Like 3.20. And then I ended up like, ironically enough, I ended up waking up at like 12, interestingly enough. But the last few days, like the last two days, I didn't wake up at the same time. I woke up like later, later, even though I went to sleep earlier, I went to sl I woke up at like, at like four or like three-ish. And it was just like, it was weird. Like the concept of time was like a little bit off, but it's whatever. Um, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. If you didn't, let me know what I can do in the comment sections to make a better video to watch next time. The glove is off. Peace, love. Thanks for watching.